Hello everyone, it's Angela from the Chaotic Life of a Planner. Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. So I have a confession. In my Planner Kate haul, I said that I was going to use my St. Patrick's Day kit for this week because I thought this week was St. Patrick's Day. Imagine my surprise when I opened my planner, and that tells you how often I open my planner this week actually, and said, oh, look, St. Patrick's Day isn't until the following week. So guess what, guys? I get to use this kit, and I'm super excited about this because I love this kit. So this is kit 216. I have sheet C. Of course, I have the thin washi add-on, which is add-on P. I have the date cover add-on, which is add-on N1. And then I also have the hourly add-on, which is add-on E. So that's what we're going to use this week. So let's flip back to this current week. Today is Saturday. This is the week that we're on. Um, we did travel. Lucas had his pediatric endocrinologist appointment. That was fine. Um, I've actually... We did the master bedroom flooring, which that looks great. I did take my vitamins and meds. Um, I don't think I did daily cleaning at all because we're still deep in the throes of this remodel. I didn't track my steps at all. Um, let's see. Yesterday I did drink good water and Thursday I drank good water. So that's it. So, you know, whatever. Um, I think I only had two, I did this one, two Instagram posts this week, which I'm going to do one today. It will not be what I, I didn't track. None of my Instagram posts pretty much have been what I wanted them to be this week, but it's okay. Uh, tonight we're going to have buffalo chicken wraps for dinner, kind of like a little belated birthday celebration for Liberty. I think Devin might come over. I have to ask her. Uh, we went out to dinner at the Turtle Club with our friends last night. It was fantastic. Tomorrow we have church and there may be some, um, I've heard some talk amongst some of my family about cross country skiing tomorrow because it's actually above zero. I mean, not like significantly above zero. I think this morning when I was making breakfast, it was one degree above zero. But hey man, one is way better than the 40 below that we had a couple days ago, which of course the truck wouldn't start. So we couldn't go anywhere that day, but we did finally get it started. So that is good. Hopefully this will be the last of our cold weather, but I'm not hopeful because this is like the second coldest winter in something like 44 years. So I have something kind of funny. I need to tell my husband this too, because I don't think he's quite realized this. So we, we've lived in Alaska twice, like two stints. Like we did in the beginning, Towards the beginning of my husband's career, we did a stint, and then the last, you know, six-ish, six, seven years of his career, and then we actually retired here. So the funny thing is, our first stint was the fall of 98 to um, fallish of 2001. Michaela was born in January of 99 and I remember it being so cold the night that she was born. So when I was looking at some, I am sorry if you guys can hear Lucas, he is actually upstairs. I'm downstairs in my studio right now and I do have the door closed but he has learned how to scream and there's nothing like he's not upset. He's not hungry. He's just playing and he's learned how to make this new screaming noise. So if you can hear him, I do apologize. It's frustrating for every single person involved. I can definitely promise you that. So anyways, when we moved here in the fall of 98, it was pretty much 
like time for winter because you know in Alaska winter starts pretty much in the fall so I don't know why I use this one I was hoping that it would just be perfect and I wouldn't have to cut it but I do have to trim it a little bit so I don't have my actually regular scissors down here so I'm gonna try and see if I can trim it like this so anyways to make a long story short this winter that we are having is the coldest winter since 1999. So what's funny about that is it was a super duper cold winter, our first winter here. And then this is our last winter here because we are moving the summer. So we started with a cold winter and we are ending with a cold winter, which is kind of annoying. Okay, so I have my washi down at the bottom. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add, I think we'll do this pink washi right here. I really love this kit, you guys. To be honest with you, when I saw this kit online, I was like, ugh, I don't really love that kit that much. I was like, that is definitely not going to be a kit that I purchase. But then I saw Julie from Julie's Plans do her plan with me, I think maybe last week or the week before. I didn't watch her plan with me, but I saw her picture on Instagram and I was like, oh, that kit is really pretty. That's one of the things I like about the planner community sharing their pages is you definitely get to see things that you maybe thought you didn't appreciate or didn't really enjoy. But then once you actually see them used, you're like, oh, I do like that. That is pretty. So that's what happened to me. I'm going to trim this a little bit more. So that is how I ended up with this kit and I'm, I'm super happy that I got it because it's really gorgeous. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and use this sticker down here, this thin washi, which is beautiful. I almost kind of wish the thick washi was this black color, but if it was, it probably would have just been a little too overwhelming. So this works totally fine. I've really been liking how I've been using the washi at the bottom versus ordering the thick washi. Okay, there's that. Now I'm going to do my sidebar, which I don't really have anything. Well, let's see. Let's do this one. So it's a pretty slow, actually, no, I'm not going to do my slide, my sidebar yet. I'm going to add my washi over here. So let's do this color here. And then this light blue here. It's like a circus upstairs right now. I have Lucas who's making all kinds of screaming noises. I have a dog who um, is, well, Liberty is babysitting a four-year-old. And we have a little tiny like six or seven pound mutt. And of course the four-year-old is like, oh look, it's a dog who is my size. Well, I'll just leave that there. So she is obsessed with my little dog, Maddie. Like she wants to hold her all the time. We've tried and tried and tried to tell her, please leave Maddie alone, please leave Maddie alone. And she just is not getting it, which is fine. It's normal for a four-year-old who's not usually around a small dog like that. And honestly, it's good practice for Maddie because eventually Lucas will 
you know, be grabbing her and whatnot, even though he's going to pretty much have grown up with her. So he might not be as obsessed, but in order to give the dog a break and make sure that she doesn't, you know, snap it the four year old or what have you, we have put the dog in our, my bedroom, which she spends a lot of time in there. I mean, she sleeps in there, so she's fine but she's not happy about it. So not only is Lucas up there making all kinds of racket, but I can also hear the dog who is not happy. So I do apologize if you guys hear that as well. We just redid our flooring in the basement. So we have the vinyl, what, is it, what do they call it? Luxury vinyl plank or whatever. And it's definitely changed the acoustics down here. It echoes more and so I need to figure some things out. Okay, so there is my bottom washi and then the top is ready and I've got my Instagram um, spaces labeled. I really, really, really am happy with the way this is coming out. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just use these two task bars right here on my sidebar and this is just to give me a running list of things that I need to accomplish because the list is long, you guys. The list is long. I can't wait to share with you my finished um, remodel progress. I've been, if you guys follow me over on Instagram, then you will see that I have been sharing updates over there, but not well actually nothing is completely finished yet the master bedroom has the new flooring and it's painted and we put everything back in there but it needs new trim and that is not going to happen until mike comes back from work the next time which is fine that's part of that is because we want to wait and see what kind of trim the contractors are going to put in the basement because i wanted the trim to match Mm, it's so wonderful when babies learn how to scream. Mm, fantastic. Okay, spring break. This is spring break week, which, you know, we're homeschoolers. We typically do take spring break. We are not this year um, because we've just had so much time off due to other traveling. I need to put something right here, but I'm not sure what yet. So... Uh, Liberty will not have math class this week, but everything else will just still be, you know, like normal. I will try and do some, a couple fun things with them. Like maybe we'll go skiing one day and maybe we'll go to the movies another day. But other than that, it's pretty much going to be about it because we have still remodel work to finish so that we can actually put the house on the market. All right, pardon the interruption. So this will be spring break. So let's get to it. I don't have a ton of outside stuff going on this week. Um, my husband goes back to work. He has to go back to work a day early, which I'm really, really, really bummed about because I'm not ready for him to go back to work yet. So I'm thinking his flight is like the 8.30 a.m. flight. They have some kind of like MSHA training, which MSHA is like OSHA, but for minors. So he has that Monday. That's all that I have on Monday, I believe. Let me actually check my calendar on my phone just to make sure. Yep, that's all I have for Monday. Liberty has no school. I obviously will have Lucas, but that's okay. We have nothing Tuesday. The only thing I need to mark on Wednesday is Alana. Thursday, I need to mark payday. So I will use this little script sticker right here. And then I'll use one of these. Appointment labels, decorative appointment labels. Well, I guess that decorative boxes is what I should call it. And I'm going to go ahead and use the little dollar bill icon 
Oh my goodness, Lucas. <laughs> I am so sorry, you guys. I hope you can not hear him. Okay, so there's that. And then I I might... I'm going to leave this one right here, actually, because I'm going to do something else with that. I don't have anything on Friday. And then the only thing that we might do on Saturday is it is a military appreciation day at the ice park, meaning that it's free. So if it's warm, we might do that because that would be fun. We haven't actually done that in a couple of years. So I'm going to have way too many extra stickers. Like I'm not going to need to use these at all, which is okay. So because I don't have to, I guess I could use these to mark Lucas just so I can use some of them up. So let's go ahead and slide this up a little bit because realistically I'll have to have Mike at the airport early. And then, yeah, let's do that. Let's use these to mark Lucas. I call it Lukey Poo duty. He will not appreciate us calling him Lukey Poo at some point, but right now he has no idea. So we just go with it. You guys, he's doing so good. He's sitting so well now. He last night, or actually this morning, Liberty went to pick him up and he, from bed and he had, um, he was laying, uh, sleeping on his stomach, which this is the first time we've seen him do that. So that was cute. We have like a group, um, Snapchat with all the kids and then my husband and I, we call it, um, our last name is Skelly. So we call it Skeletors. So it was really cute because, you know, whenever we find Lucas doing something fun like that, we always make sure we post it on Skeletors so that everybody can see. So it was cute. All right. So... The only other thing I want to mark is church. So this is regular church. And then I actually think I need to double check on this tomorrow when we go to church. So Sunday, it's either Saturday or Sunday is Grand Prix, is our Awana Grand Prix. And I'll probably have to like make some kind of food or something like that. But I need to confirm if it, which day it is. So I'll do that later. Oh, I forgot to mark my weekend. Let's go ahead. Let's see if this will fit down here. Nope, it doesn't. Let's use my weekend banner. And then my little trick that I've been using, I don't know if I've shared this with you guys, and I'm sure you guys have all figured it out is to line the middle of the K up with this line right here, and then it's centered. So that's a little trick. Okay, so when do I want to go to the grocery store? I'm just gonna use this little grocery time script. I will probably do that on Thursday since Thursday is payday. Yeah, let's do that. So smart grocery time right here. This week I actually used Instacart, which I've never done before. Um, and I had my groceries within like two hours. So I was so stoked about that. That was actually the day that Mike's truck wouldn't start. So it must've been Thursday. All right, there's planner time. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is go through and just pull out some extra stickers. Like I haven't marked my meals yet. So let me do that now. Let's see, which stickers do I want to use? So there's my knife and my fork. Let's do it this way. So 
Let me move that up so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. That'd be helpful, right? I'm going to alternate between these two colors, I think. I probably could have done it in the nine o'clock spot because I don't have anything going on in the nine o'clock spot, but maybe I'll do that. Let's move it down. So I've started my new um, like eating wellness slash wellness program. So. I'll tell you guys more about that later, but I definitely have to think about what I definitely have to think about what I'm actually going to eat for dinner a little more closely now. So I do have um, links down below to all of the Erin Condren products that I'm using in this plan with me. I also have a link to Planner Kate's shop as well as a promo code that you can use to save you 20% off your order. And then if you're new to Erin Condren, you can go ahead and use the referral link that I have down below and that saves you $10 off your first purchase as well as 10, it gives me a $10 credit to use on products that I get to show you guys in videos. So I appreciate it if you do that. Um, there's also, um, like most of my links for Erin Condren are affiliate links, which doesn't cost you any extra, but it does give me a little bit of a kickback. And I thank you so much to everybody that has used it. I have to have a minimum of $50 in referral um, credit, I guess you'd call, call it in order to get an actual check. And I am so close, like I'm just a couple dollars away. So thank you to everybody who has done that. It does help to support my channel. Okay, so there's my meal planning. I actually really like the way that looks. It's super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my knife and my fork sticker back in my binder. I did finally get to film my video of how I've got my Planner Kate stickers organized. So make sure you guys watch that. All right, I'm gonna use my little laundry doodle girl. You guys, laundry is absolutely out of control right now. Like there's six of us living here. No, seven, Lucas too. No, six, yeah, six. My husband is home, Benjamin is home. Plus we have all this remodel stuff going on and it just seems like there's freaking laundry everywhere. So I have got to get laundry figured out. It's driving me crazy. Absolutely stinking crazy. So I'm going to work on laundry on Monday, I think. So let's put laundry day right here. I'm actually going to work on some laundry today. Part of the laundry issue is also because um, the laundry area is part of the remodel. So I did not have access to my washer and dryer for a couple of days, actually a few days, even though he said I was going to, the contractor said he would hook my washer and dryer back up before he left for the day. And then he didn't. So I went downstairs to do laundry and I was like, are you kidding me? I need to do laundry, but it's okay. It is going to all come together. I'm hoping that they can finish everything this week. Pretty much all they have to do is a little bit more mud on the drywall issues, you know, that they were doing for me. And then it will be time to, what else do they have left to do? Uh, Oh, trim. So all the new doors are put in. So they just will have to do trim. So I am so, so, so happy. Like you can't even believe how happy I am going to be to have this all done. Now it's not like completely done. We do need to have some other things finished. Um, we need to have some windows replaced, but it's kind of too cold down here or outside right now for us to have windows done. So that'll have to wait 
until it warms up. And then I think like our bedroom windows in the basement are not what they call egress windows. And apparently they need to be egress windows um, in order to pass code, which I don't know how we bought this house without egress windows because nobody mentioned that to us. But, you know, I digress, whatever. So um, hopefully, you know, we can get that done in the spring when it warms up a little bit more. And then we have to have some stuff done upstairs, like um, the kitchen floor needs to be redone. Um, bathroom floors, my bathroom shower needs to be tiled. Mm, what else? Pretty much that's it. We do need to have a new garage door replaced. Um, but those things need to wait until we have some more money, which I'm sure you guys can understand that because this work that we've had done right now has pretty much just wiped us, wiped us out. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mark film and edit on these two days. And that will also mean, I, I'm gonna try and do some batch filming because that did work well for me before, but we'll see. I'm not sure if that's going to happen this time. And then this one will be film and edit. I still need to film my budget video. Like we made a budget out on paper, but I need to put it all into my planner so it can be organized. And it's just been so crazy that we haven't done that yet which I really need to do that either today or tomorrow, but realistically it probably won't happen until Monday. Okay, so there's my film edits. I think I'm just about done, you guys. I don't think I really have much else to add. I'm gonna go ahead and add an activity tracker. I don't remember if I tried to do this. Oh, that will fit. So I should white this all out, but I don't have my white out right now. So it's currently hidden in the big giant mess. So that's it, you guys. I think that's pretty much all that we have going on for this week. I have a ton of to do's, painting left to do, um, decluttering, you just yada, 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 a lot of stuff. So I'm going to be busy working on that. Hopefully I will make a lot of progress. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.